we're very concerned about events that are taking place in Washington over the last uh, 24 hours. Um, Canada and the United States are close friends and allies and have been for over 100 years now. And we are based on similar principles. We share similar values, a belief in democracy, uh, the rule of law and human rights. And one of the foundational principles enshrined in both our countries' respective constitutions is a belief in uh, peaceful transfers in power based on democratically held elections. And what we saw yesterday was anything but that. And so we're calling on President Trump and his supporters to respect the will of the American people as expressed in last November's election. Um, the will that was reaffirmed by state election authorities and that has been reaffirmed also by American courts and allow for the peaceful transition of power to President-elect Biden on January 20th in two weeks. We're not immune in Canada to misinformation. Um, that's why it's incumbent on political leaders in elected office to speak up and tell the truth. And that's why we issued the statement today that we did that we push back on misinformation and falsehoods and why it's important that we continually do that, whether it's on the issue of the election in the United States or issues that we may face here at home in Canada. And so uh, we will continue to monitor the situation closely south of the border. Um, but let me finish by saying this. I'm confident that the institutions of the American state are strong enough to ensure a transition of power between now and noon on January 20th. Um, these institutions have endured for over 200 years. Um, they're old institutions, similar to the ones we have here in Canada that have endured for so many, many years. And I'm confident that those institutions will ensure that transfer of power takes place on noon on January 20th.